Hi, I'm Eddie Wu, and I'm a mathematics teacher. One of the mathematicians and educators I love and respect most is Dan Finkel, and he talks about the centrality of playfulness in mathematics. Now, I think it's really vital to, to get at that idea because so much of mathematics yes, does have real practical applications out in the real world, solves problems that we really want, how to build a bridge or work out how much money you're gonna to need to save to um, purchase a certain item in the future, but vast swaths of mathematical thinking are not designed to solve a particular problem. They are just, you know, fruits of people playing around with patterns and say, I wonder what happens if we do this to the numbers, or I wonder what will emerge if we set these rules and just see what happens, right? For me, that playfulness and willingness to say, okay, well, let's just set up some experimental rules that don't necessarily have an attachment to the real world and see what happens. For me, those are important to developing that conceptual understanding because when people have a, a sense of mathematics is just for solving problems and is just for, I have some information, I need to put them together in some way to get an answer out. They sort of rob themselves of the real goal, which is understanding. You know, we sort of are so obsessed with getting from point A to point B and then finishing. We don't say, okay, let's just stop and look around and explore this environment and see if we're inquisitive, what can we understand about the patterns that are here? So much about, for example, something as simple as prime numbers, which, you know, it, it takes quite a while to get to the practical applications now of, yes, all modern cryptography and the entire internet and economy are built on our ability to say, prime numbers are really easy to multiply together really hard to get out of the big enormous number that emerges out of them. That takes a long time to get to, but playing with the patterns in the prime numbers is something that can be enjoyable and something that can hook students into that mathematical reasoning before they even get to the practical situations and context that those prime numbers help us to solve. So I think that again, it's about reaching down to be able to play with a scenario and say there's understanding that can be gained here without reference to, okay, there's a particular problem I want to solve. And I think giving students that ability and that time, that capacity is really important to cultivating their curiosity.